checking out from Tokyo and I'm going to miss sleeping on that floor. What a great floor it's been. My back has never been so good and that is a huge lie, my back hurts. A lot. Time is just flying by and Laura and I go back to Canada in less than 10 days. So Tokyo is extremely expensive and it's a nice room, like everything's like fairly high-end appliances. There's a heated seat on the toilet and it sings when you sit on it. And a room like this will basically cost you almost 300 US dollars a night if you don't like book early in advance. It's just crazy expensive. So that's why Laura and I have chosen the high life and we sleep here in this corner. We throw down some towels, some blankets, and it's amazing. It's really, it's really the best sleep I've ever had in Tokyo. Today is another rainy day in Tokyo. We're heading our way to the metro line and we're gonna start going towards Kyoto. But on the way there, there's lots of stops we're gonna do because lots of cool sights. Uh, some of the things we're gonna do today are, well actually I only remember one thing. We're going to a hot spring and apparently you're not allowed to wear a bathing suit into the hot spring because it's disrespectful. So everyone has to go naked. So there's separate hot springs for men and separate ones for women. So that should be very interesting. We have just arrived here at the Ramen Museum in Yokohama. So we've left Tokyo. I think it's still part of Tokyo, but we've left like the greater to or the downtown Tokyo area. We took about, I don't know, 20 minutes by train to get here. And now we're gonna go try out some of the world famous Japanese ramen. Ramen noodles. We had ramen the other day and it was hands down the best ramen I've ever had. I'm like dying to get my hands on another one. So a little bit of history on the ramen noodle. It uh, was started off in China and it spread to Japan in 1859 when Japan opened its ports to the world. So it allowed exports to come in, or it allowed imports, I guess. Um, it's got four different varieties of noodles. You got the thin noodle, the thick noodle, wrinkled noodle, and of course the harauchi noodles. This must be what a traditional Japanese little suburb looked like. This is so interesting. We are here at a German ger German ramen house. So it's like ramen but with a German style to it. And they greet everyone as they come in, which is why everyone's yelling. Alright. Nom nom nom. Here it is. Looks so good. Oh, domorigato! That was so good, oh my gosh. We've had two ramen noodle bowls now in the past like three days and both have been incredible. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Japan is just so awesome. The food here is actually really good. I've stayed away from seafood because I'm not a big fan of it, but all their land food like ramen noodles and rice bowls and teriyaki bowls, so good. There are local singles in your area looking to chat. Dial us in. We'll be here all night. Can I have a little privacy, please? That was really weird. Right? It's cool, they made like a old fashioned Japanese alleyway that you'd see back in the day, back in our day. Oh, you can hear cat. Oh my goodness. If you get off your phone, you'd see this. And we are now heading to Kyoto by bullet train, which is a super crazy, extremely fast train that looks like a bullet. Apparently its top speed is like 330 kilometers an hour. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's actually so spacious. I wish an airplane be like this. Yeah. RC was coming here. Yeah, you can get some work done. I have to like bend over to reach forward, it's crazy. This is what it looks like to go 250 kilometers an hour. We are bolting, even Snapchat just told me, 246. And the fastest speed is 330. So you can't really feel it because it's so smooth, but you definitely get the, the feeling of like, even the subtle little movement and you're like, holy. And like when you look out the window, you realize that you're going pretty much the fastest I've ever been, other than in a plane.
Today's vlog is brought to you by Fire Ice Ole. Live fast, like a bullet train. So to take the bullet train, you can either pay one way or you can get a Japan Rail Pass or the JR Pass. And for me to do a week of unlimited riding, it's 300 US, about there. So it's pretty expensive, but one way with the JR Pass would cost us, thank you, one way uh, train from like Japan to Kyoto would be like 200 US dollars. So for us it made sense to get the pass because now we can go all over the country. Back and cleaner on the loose. We got off the train station to go see this castle and so we're in this random little city right now. But they're just playing this like weird creepy music throughout the entire city. And it's been going for a couple blocks now and there's like no one here. It feels like almost like we're in an abandoned ghost town. All these cars came by now so I kind of lost the creepy effect but uh, yeah. Look how big that one mouth is. Oh gonna my feed gosh. Them? Look how big it is. So they don't have guard crocodiles, they've got guard koi fish and they'll suck you to death. Oh I'm in. Yeah, Mark, jump in there. Ew, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know That's why like it's the, in here, but I'm Look how big that up. pigeon is. They're so curious. Who are you? Some well fed animals here. Who are you? Hello. Oh. Uh, oh. oh, they're oh going crazy! Oh my god! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> Feeding frenzy! They like run each other over. What's happening? You dropped something. Uh. They're going crazy. This oh, is no, so gross. And then Mark is Look, guys, they're following us. They're all coming over here now. Hello, my friends. That's so funny. <laughs> More Parmesan cheese for the, for the koi fish. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. That was like Come on, big boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. They're all swimming in. They're all coming in. <laughs> and here is the castle, I think. I don't know. We will find out. My vlog should just be called Clueless Guy Abroad. I just show up to places and I'm like, oh, I think we're here. Yeah, this is what it is. Wow. Feels good to be home. Monkeys are engaged. Yeah. Monkeys? I love monkeys. Ew. They're creepy. Look at their red face. Oh, it smells so nasty. Oh, yeah. Yuck. I'm sorry guys, you guys really didn't get the good side of the gene pool. Ooh, it smells so bad. Aww, it's scratching its friend's head and looking for mon er, little insects. Oh, I can't, I cannot stand near here, it smells so bad. Here is the main castle and I can see a little tiny cat just perched on the side of the wall. Like up, up above all the brick. It looks so proud of its castle. I would be. And for some reason, there's a big barrier being put up here, so we cannot go through. I don't know why. Good. Mm. Yeah, this is what the smell is. It smells so good. It's, yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah, beautiful. Ew, it got in my melt. Ew! <laughs> the pollen's all over my melt. Aww. Look, the raven's just hanging by, waiting for some cat food to be let up. There's so many cats around here. Hey, guys. That's like better food than I eat. How is it? Hey. They're like, they're like house cats. Yeah, they really domesticate. He doesn't even care. Like, I'm gonna eat all day and I don't really care. Well, they like each have a lot of we won't get to see the castle, but we saw some cats and some really foul smelling monkeys. We have just arrived here in Kyoto. And it took us about two and a half hours, which when you look at the map, that's actually incredible. It, like, by bus, I would probably take six, seven hours to get here, and we just rushed through it. The train is so fast, and such a nice way to travel. Like, the seats are so spacious, and there's toilets on the train. Everything's perfect about it. I wish we had something similar in Canada. But anyways, we're here. Gonna go take a look around and check into our hotel.